What's up everyone? This is Laihua here and welcome to the Superfina channel where I like to review games and products and stream a variety of games and today we are doing something really different. We are creating candy! We are making a candy mask inspired by the game I am streaming at the moment which is Pokemon Shield. I was inspired by the fairy type gym located in Balanlea and it just reminded me of my rave days and I was thinking, actually imagining what it would look like if I made a candy surgical mask based off of the fairy type gym at a rave. And the fairy type gym's logo is pink. Pink is like my favorite color and I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So right now you are seeing me creating a pattern. Uh, I am making this pattern on candypatterns.com. I'm using their software. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can find it yourself if you're feeling like making your own designs and whatnot. So this is my first time making a candy pattern based off of a picture. Before, when I did make candy creations, I would base it off someone else's design and just make my own from there. So this is my first time trying to recreate a picture in candy pattern form, which is not easy. You would think it's easy because it's like pixelated, but because the beads are going to be like one off each other. It's not really that easy. Maybe it will be as I practice, you know, the more I do it, the more I can perfect it. But right now, I'm really rusty. I haven't made a candy creation in years, like years. It's been a long time, guys. So I hope you enjoy watching this creation from beginning to end of Fairy Jim's Candy Surgical Mask. Here we are starting to make the mask. We are making the middle part. You probably noticed that I am not using the exact colors that are on the pattern that I created from candypatterns.com. I decided not to make a black border because I didn't want to make an outline. I wanted to have like a soft border. So I decided to use the fillers on the outside of the pattern purple and not have a black pattern, which will make this more difficult for me. So yeah, I like to challenge myself. Here, I am making the middle part and uh, as I am making this, I remembered that I could have numbered the pattern I made and I forgot to number it. Why is this important to point out? Because when you number the pattern, it makes it so much easier to make the candy creations because like the lines are one off each other. If you number it, you know exactly what colors to pick out. You can lay out your colors and be like, oh yeah, I'll just go this one next and this one and this one. If I just numbered the candy pattern, the pattern in general, I would have finished this surgical mask a lot faster. I learned my lesson. I'm going to number the pattern next time. You're definitely going to see it on the next candy video. To make the candy surgical mask, I am using a fishing line. It is about three arm lengths. And after making the middle part of the surgical mask, I am using a plastic needle, which I got from Walmart. There are so many of these at Walmart in different sizes too. It is so easy to get and it is amazing to use. If you are a first time candy maker, I highly recommend that you get this. It 
works wonders. It makes it so much easier to get the bead, pick it up, put it through the needle, push it through, and thread. It, it is amazing. Highly recommend. It's cheap too. Easy to get. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Or if you need to order it online, you can get it on Amazon, which I will put a Amazon affiliate link in the descriptions below. If you're also wondering where I got the beads, I also got the beads on Amazon too, which I will leave in the descriptions also. So we make the middle part and then we can either start from the top half of the surgical mask or the bottom half. I like to start at the top and you'll notice that I am taking pauses because I am trying to make sure that I'm picking the right colors that's going to be next because like I said before, I didn't number them so it's not easy for me to see what color is next. Especially when there's so many colors that are like very similar to each other one after the other. And there are a few times where I had to like unravel it because I made a bunch of boo-boos. I was like, oh my gosh, I am really rusty. Oh, there is one. There is the boo-boo. See, see that boo-boo right there? That purple? Mm, watch. You're going to see that I'm going to put another purple right next to it when I shouldn't have. Why? Because I didn't number it. Because I didn't pay attention. And you're going to see me notice it much later when it's obvious. And then I'm going to have to unravel it. So learn from my mistakes. When you are making candy patterns, try to number it. It will save you a lot of trouble, grief, and time. So enough about that. I am just going to let you guys watch. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know on your thoughts. What were your experiences on making candy? Or if you haven't made candy creations yet, what questions do you have? What concerns do you have? Just leave in the comments below and enjoy the show.
still watching this video. That means you liked it. So don't forget to give it a like and while you're at it, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss future content. The Superfina channel also has a Patreon and channel membership. My Patreons, channel members, y'all are the bomb. Thank you for all your support. Here is a link to the Patreon if you want to support too and a list of social medias. All the links will be available in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have much love, much aloha for y'all and I will see you later.